Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to bake this basic sourdough. Let's get into it. First, we need to feed the starter between 8 to 12 hours. So let's go into it, let's get to feed the starter now. So I fed the starter a day ahead or 10 hours ahead before I need to make the bread. So the ratio of starter was 1 or 1 or 1, which is 50 grams of starter, 50 grams of wood and 50 grams of flour. And I mix it together. If you haven't made any sourdough sourdough starter before, I'll put the link on the description below to find the video how to make your own starter. That will take up to seven, four to seven days, and then you can make your own bread. I hope you enjoy it. Now I'm gonna mix it. I cover it. Put a lid on top. Then I'm going to leave until tomorrow, or between 8 to 12 hours, and then it'll be ready for us to use to make our first bread. So our starter's ready. As I fed last night, and doubled in. I put this label after I fed, I put this label in to, to see the ratio is going to be in what in the morning when I needed to use it. If it's right, it's double or it's triple. So I can see it double in size. So it means it's ready to use. See them bubble activities in there. So now I'm going to do... Put the bowl here. So I'm gonna do one bread, which is 500 gram of flour. So I'm gonna do water first, which is gonna be 360. 360. That's 72% hydration. And I'm gonna put a starter which is 10%, I'm going to put 50 grams or 50 mil of starter. Don't need the starter anymore. Then a whisk it, just to mix the starter in water. And then next I'm going to add the flour, which is 500 grams. Here you go, 500 grams. I'm going to add a spoon of salt. It's about like 10, 10 grams. It's a touch. Okay, so now we can take up the scale. So I'm going to mix it now together. Once it's all combined like that, I'm going to leave it for 30 minutes to or to, least to develop the gluten. Okay, let's see how it looks. So I'm going to cover it and then leave for 30 minutes and then I'll come back and do this stretch and fold. It's been a half an hour now. We're gonna, what we're going to do, I'm going to do some folds of the door. See a little bit of a change. So what we need to do is this. Then I'm gonna leave the door for one hour. Then come back and do some slap and fold. So it's been one hour. Now one hour and a half in total. Do some slap and fold. Look at this, the doors change. Put it about here. Do some slap and fold. So this will make the dough stronger.
put it back. I'll leave for another hour. So it's been one hour. And now I'm gonna actually transfer the dough to the lightly oiled bowl before I perform the next movement. Oh, look at this. So this is slightly heavier. So when I do the coil fold, the, the bowl is not gonna move. Turn around. That is side. Okay. There's a lead. I'm not gonna leave there. One hour. We'll tuck it in together. I'm gonna leave it one hour or two hours and then come back to pre-shape and shape. I was ready. I left for three hours, so it's basically five hours in total. So now I'm gonna do a pre-shape. Yes, it's only yep. So I'll do a light pre-shape. Oh, got a stick. Get a dough knife. A little round. Just to tuck it in a slight pre-shape. And then leave it. Leave for 15 minutes. And then come back and do a final shape. While that's resting, I prepared the bowl. Normally I should have a bonnet on, but I didn't know I forgot the bonnet on the bake with this. So I'm gonna use I'm using a bowl, another Paris bowl with a towel on top. So use what you can at home. So I'll let it rest and then we'll come back and do the final pre final shape and then I'll put it in the fridge, then bake tomorrow. Now I'm going to do the final shape and then put it in a bowl and let it rest in the fridge overnight and then I'm going to bake it. So I'm going to flip this. Turn the bowl do all around. So this is going to be a round shape. There. Tuck all the sides in. in. Good morning, and then you turn around, tuck it in. I'm shaping bread. Yeah. What are you making? It's a bread, it's called sourdough bread. What's this? That's a flour. And then bounce in a flour. And you put it inside the door. And from here, cover a little bit, and then we're gonna put it in the fridge, and we're gonna bake it tomorrow. So we're gonna to bake today. Bread is ready. Day, this is day two or day three from the start of feeding, pre-shaping, shaping, proving the dough. So today is day three basically. So I preheated the oven. This is Dutch oven is really hot, pumping hot. So I'm gonna put the dough in there. There we go, and then we're gonna score. Do like a star. There we go. I'm gonna put ice in there to create the steam. Put two scoops. Okay. So I'm gonna put in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and then take it out and remove the lid and back again for another 20 minutes until I get a nice golden color. Here we go, the bread is fed 20 minutes. So I'm gonna remove the lid. Looking good. So I'm gonna put it back for another 20 minutes. Bread is done. 20 minutes later, 40 minutes in total of baking, and the bread is done. <coughs> Excuse me. So, this is our basic sourdough, ready. A bit brown on the bottom. I 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. Thanks for watching. It smells good. Hey <laughs> This is hot. This is hot show. Came to visit me when I was making the bread. Wow. Give a kiss. Mustache, jam mustache. Say <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.